Welcome everyone to another episode of uh, Ex Fabrica. Um, my name is Mario Legenstein, and uh, today I will uh, tell you something uh, how you can get rid of if you have a noisy whistling foil, what you can do about it. Um, actually, uh, out of the fabric, the um, uh, foils comes already uh, finished with uh, a trailing edge with, uh, which should uh, inhibit uh, this noise, but as it is manufactured and uh, tenths of a millimeters uh, are crucial to uh, either it whistles or not, uh, it might be that some of the foils uh, have some sounds because it also depends uh, of, of the water temperatures and uh, <clears throat> other parameters. So I will tell you now what you can do that you can get rid of this noise. So first of all, we have a look at the profile section. Let's say this is the profile section of a front foil. Um, on the top side, we have the suction side, and here we have the pressure side. And if we take a closer look here to the trailing edge, um, we find uh, maybe a trailing edge uh, which looks like this. Our foil looks a bit different, but uh, a square trailing edge is typical uh, for, uh, for vortices who um, can make some, some vibrations which induce whistling. Also blunt trailing edges, they look like this maybe. Um, this also creates some vortex, which looks like this. And this creates a, a carbon vortex, and this makes some vibrations and causes whistling. So what can we do about it? Um, you hear sometimes in, in the web that you just sand down the, uh, or sharpen the trailing edge, then you get something like this. And of course, uh, this reduces the vortex and therefore uh, the, the noise. But on the other hand, and this is a big disadvantage, such pointy uh, sections are very dangerous. You can uh, cut yourself or uh, it breaks very easily. So what we want to have is um, a so-called uh, Donald uh, Donaldson trailing edge, it looks like this. So on the pressure side, we take away some material and in the end it should look like, like this. It doesn't have to be very sharp, um, but uh, yeah, we, we're going to send it step by step. Okay, um, in detail, uh, we want to send the, the pressure side. This is uh, on the front foil, it's the bottom side. And this distance um, should be around three millimeters so that you get the gentle curve. And it's very important to make uh, no edges like this. It should be really a curve. Okay, let's start. So this is how it flies. So the bottom side is the pressure side, this is the suction side, and we want to send the bottom, the pressure side. So I start with 400, and uh, as I want to get a rounding, I change the angle how I sand the trailing edge over time. So in the end, you'll get a so-called uh, Donaldson trailing edge, which uh, will look like this. And uh, for the rear foil, we have the opposite. So it flies through the water like this, and we have the pressure side on the uh, top side and the suction side on the bottom side. So 
Um, for a wing with winglets, it's quite useful to have uh, such a, a sticky board which is half rounded. Just more water. I start with 400 again. Okay, and for the winglet, I turn it around. Okay, and after that, you change to um, 2200 or 1500. So <clears throat> to deburr the, the trailing edge and uh, polish it, actually you can, for uh, the last finish, you can also use your, your fingers And as I said already, it's important to make it not too sharp. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. We can head over to the mast. Uh, on the mast, you, um, it's actually sufficient if you do it only on one side, as I showed it here, or uh, if you are very fancy, you can make it symmetric uh, on both sides. So again, so for the mast, I prefer a block. So it is also important that you don't uh, get edges at the uh, trailing edge. I mean, this way. What we don't want is that we uh, make some edges like this, because this can also uh, cause uh, some vortices and uh, whistling again. So. Um, Always think of making it uh, gently rounded. Okay. And after that, deburring. So, and usually that's sufficient, don't make it too sharp. It's better to test it uh, on the water, and if you still have some whistling, you, uh, you make some uh, more sanding, but don't make it too sharp, uh, otherwise uh, you can hurt yourself, uh, or uh, it breaks more easily, especially on the very thin uh, rear foil. Uh, you should uh, be aware of that. Okay, so thank you for watching. If you have uh, any other questions, you can have a look at the manual and have a good ride and stay safe.